Once upon a time, long, long ago, in the dense forest, Mother Nature was sitting under a tree. All the colors are playing around. Color green and color blue start to yell. That's not true. Yes, it is. Mother Nature stands up and speaks in a soft voice. What's the problem with you two? Color blue and color green. She said she is the most important color and that's not true because I am. No, you are not. Why did you say that? Why do you think that you are the most important color? Oh, Mother Nature. I asked you a question. Why color green? Because, because I am the sign of life and hope. And look at you, Mother Nature. Your dress is green. Suddenly, all the colors started to yell. Look around you. Come on. Take a look at the grass and the trees. Without me, all animals would die. That's why I am the most important color. All of you are important and useful. She's right. Besides, you are only talking about the earth. But what color do you see in the sky? You see me. The sky gives space and peace and serenity. Without my peace, you would all be nothing. Oh, and look at Mother Nature. Her eyes are blue. We are not talking about me. This is not funny. Yes, it is. You are all so serious. Look at me. I am happy. So, I bring laughter and happiness into this world. Without me, there will be no fun. Who gives you warm? The sun. And the sun is yellow. Oh, I forgot Mother Nature. Your earrings are golden yellow. Oh, my dear children, you shouldn't be fighting about this. All of you are the colors of the world. Excuse me, Mother Nature, but I also want to say something. You have nothing to say. Yeah, stay out of this conversation. Oh, who are you? I didn't even know you existed. Let her talk. I am the color of health and strength. I carry the most important vitamins. Think of carrots, pumpkins, oranges, mangoes and papayas. You are so boring. Maybe you are right. I don't hang around all the time. But when I feel the sky at sunrise or sunset, my beauty is so striking that no one gives another thought to any of you. Oh, and Mother Nature, the orange brush you are wearing on your cheeks makes you look so beautiful and radiant. So whether all of you like it or not, I am the most beautiful color. I can't stand this anymore. What is wrong with all of you? I am here. Hello. Calm down, Red. I am sorry, but I can't. Look at me. Blood is red. Life's blood. I am the color of danger and bravery. I am willing to fight for a cause. I bring fire into the blood. Even Mother Nature's lips are red. I am the color of passion and love. May I say something? Sure, go ahead. Just make it short. I am the color of royalty and power. Kings, chiefs and bishops have always chosen me. You, what do you do? I am the sign of authority and wisdom. People do not question me. They listen and obey. Sure, just like we do. All of you are being disrespectful. Not me, Mother Nature. I am the color of silence. If you are the color of silence, then be quiet. That was a good one. I know, you hardly notice me. But without me, you all become superficial. I represent thought and reflection, twilight and deep water. You need me for balance and contrast for prayer and inner peace. You are wrong. We don't need you. You are me. Get out of here. 
Mother Nature looks at the sky and raises her arms. It's your turn. Make them understand. Now please. There is thunder. Rain enters the forest. Colors crouch down in fear. They draw close to one another. All of you are being so foolish, fighting among yourselves, each trying to dominate the rest. Don't you know that you were made for a special purpose, unique and different? Yes, Charlie. Now join your hands with one another and come to me. The colors stand and join hands. From now on, when it rains, each of you will stretch across the sky with great of color as a reminder that you can all live in peace. Tell them what the rainbow means. It is a sign of hope for tomorrow and so whenever rain washes the earth and the rainbow appears in the sky, it will remind previous happiness, strength, wisdom and under reflection people will always think of you. You will remind them to appreciate one another. That's why all of you are important. Dear friends, we too are of in different colors. Each one is different from the other in terms of caste, creed, race, religion and region. Moreover, we are different from one another in terms of color, size, shape and structure. But all these differences make us unique and special. So let us respect and accept each and every one as they are. Thus there shall prosper peace and harmony. Thank you.